Hey, in this tutorial, I want to show you guys the difference between eye whitening and eye brightening. So basically, there is a difference, but uh, most of the times we tend to confuse the two ways. We have eye whitening and eye brightening. So in this video, I want to show you guys how they are different and how to do them in Photoshop. So this is going to be like a very simple and easy to understand video. And before I can go ahead, let me introduce myself. I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for supporting this channel. So let's kick up and we start first of all with eye brightening. So basically what is eye brightening? Eye brightening is more of uh, making eyes pop and uh, increasing the lightness in the eyes. So that is eye brightening. So in order to do eye brightening, you have to use different tools in order to uh, brighten the eyes in Photoshop. So for eye brightening, basically what you are going to be doing, if at all you don't have camera or any other adjustment, you can simply come right down here to the curves adjustment layer and now make a midpoint and just brighten until the eyes really turn uh, into that bright color that you really want, like that. So as you're doing this, you have to make sure you look at the pupil or the this circular thing in the eye and the white area too so after you have brightened it up just click that so you want to hide the effect remember it has affected the overall image so make sure you you select the mask and hit ctrl or command i <coughs> to hide that effect so you are simply going to get a brush it is going to be a soft round brush so make sure the hardness is at zero and smoothing is at zero, opacity 100 and flow 100. So remember, we want to reveal the effect. Remember, the black mask hit the effect and we want to reveal the effect. That means that we are going to make the brush become a white brush instead. So simply come on these swatches or these two boxes and you reset and get black and white. So to get white on top, simply use X on the keyboard to get white on top. So we are going to basically paint using a, a white brush on the areas we want to brighten. Remember, we're just increasing the lightness of particular parts of the eye to make them pop or to make the eye pop. So just come and start painting over those particular areas to uh, make them pop like that. So remember, this is uh, brightening the eyes or brightening specific parts of the eye. So basically, this is how to uh, brighten eyes or how to make them pop in just Photoshop. So you have to uh, be careful and not paint over this because it's going to be really or greatly affected unless you want it to be affected too. So you can see uh, the before and the after. You have just made these eyes really uh, pop or brighten or brighter, sorry. Then if at all you feel you have overdone it, just come to the opacity and you can... Uh, reduce on the opacity so you can see the before and after so i'm just going to delete this this is the very first way of uh, brightening the eyes then the second way you have you can use uh, the camera filter and you get your adjustment brush tool so we are going to simply come let's first of all duplicate the background layer by hitting command j and now come to filter and come to camera filter then come and get your adjustment brush tool. So remember, we are just going to increase on particular parts of uh, the eye or brighten them. So come to the exposure and just pump it up like that. You don't have to take it all the way because here you even have more controls like the highlights and the whites. So just come in. Uh, maybe you can increase on the highlights and also come to the whites like that. So you can simply get your adjustment brush tool and paint over the areas you want uh, to pop or to brighten up in the eye. And if at all you feel that it is not being really affected into the image or applied well, you can simply come the exposure and just increase on it like that. So basically this is the second row of uh, brightening eyes. So you can simply see the before and the after, before, after. So... Uh, we can just simply click OK. And the reason that's why we created the, uh, a duplicate of this layer 
is because we want to reduce on the opacity part all we feel like we have overdone it on the image so you can simply drop down the opacity and you can see the before and after so the very second method uh, that we are going to be learning about is that has been about how to brighten eyes so brightening eyes is more of increasing at uh, the exposure and making particular parts of the eye to really stand out or pop then right now we have eye whitening so eye whitening is more of simply making the white area all the white areas in the eye re really white and desaturating or removing the yellow color from the white area of the eye so simply you're going to come and uh, duplicate this layer by hitting ctrl or command j and you're going to come right here and come to the hsl panel or the hue and saturation so since we have color in let me zoom in so since we have color in the white area of the eye remember we just want to uh, desaturate <coughs> but as you're doing this you're going to notice that the overall image is going to turn into uh, a desaturated image but uh, remember we are only targeting the white area so you have to focus majorly on that particular area so just come and reduce on the saturation then since we have color in the white area you can simply come to the color you you can see in the white area and also reduce on the saturation too and now you can simply come to maybe the red if at all you have red color in the white area and you can as well uh, reduce on the saturation like that so simply uh, now we are set you can see like uh, this area is I think this is a more natural way of uh, whitening the eye so after I have created that we are going to come and we are going to create another adjustment layer and this time it is going to be the photo filter come and create it then come right down to drop down where you see warming filter 82 and come and select cooling filter 82 and reduce on that we just need a really subtle change like that to add that cooling filter on the yellowness in the eye so you're going to put these two in a group by holding down control and hitting control or command g on the keyboard to put them in a group so we want to hide this effect from affecting the overall image so you're just going to come and you're going to click on this mask tool and after clicking on it you are going to hit ctrl i or command i to invert or hide that effect from affecting the overall image then come and get your brush tool opacity 100 flow 100 smoothening at zero and it is a soft round brush so you have to make sure white is, is on the foreground and to toggle or to get these two colors black and white you can reset by clicking on these two boxes so make sure white is on top and now zoom into the area you want to whiten so just come and start a painting over uh, the area remember we only want paint over only and only on the white area of the eye or maybe the beautiful catch light in uh, the white area of the eye basically so I think uh, this is okay and looks fine to me so just paint over only the white area like that so you can see the before and the after before after so this is how to uh, whiten eyes naturally in Photoshop and if at all you feel like you have made or painted over the area you don't want to simply switch the brush and change it to black or you have black on the foreground zoom in and now you can uh, delete the effect on some particular parts you don't want or you didn't want to whiten so you can simply come and paint over by getting white on top and now paint over on the white area to whiten it like that so basically this is how to naturally whiten eyes in Photoshop so whitening eyes will be targeting maybe the warm tones in the eye area or some colors that are in the eyes and we just uh, remove them from that area so that it can remain white so the second method for how to whiten eyes uh, we're going to uh, simply duplicate the background layer command j or ctrl j and now come back to the camera filter select it and uh, you can simply uh, zoom in 
uh, to get a more precise uh, zoom of the eye control plus to zoom in come and still get your adjustment brush tool remember we have yellow in the white area of the eye you can simply come the temperature and reduce and move it towards the blue side so it shouldn't take it all the way just keep within uh, 25 or 35 then we want to retain some kind of a uh, redness to maintain the uh, that kind of reddish feel in the white area of the eye then since we want to also remove color from the white area you can simply come and a uh, drop down at the saturation but not all the way to around negative 66 and increase on the size of your adjustment brush tool by using the brackets and you can simply uh, paint over uh, the white area of the eye to uh, whiten it like that. So basically this is uh, the simplest way of how to whiten eye. So depending on what you really want to prefer or the method you want to use to whiten eyes, uh, you can uh, go for that particular uh, method basically. So this is how you can easily whiten eyes in the camera roll filter so this uh, has been a story about how to whiten eyes or how to brighten eyes in photoshop so if at all you want to have the best out of your results you can combine the two methods and just increase on the exposure in the white area of the eye to have the best results out of your eye whitening and eye brightening in photoshop i hope this really helps you guys in your photography and retouching in general. I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more educative and uh, more content on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.